Hello, my name is Paul Melrose and in this video we're going to have a look at screencasting. A screencast is what you're looking at now. It's simply a recording of your desktop and that's useful for a number of reasons. Perhaps you want to show someone how to use a program or demonstrating something else that you're doing on your screen. There are many commercial applications available such as Camtasia for Mac and PC but the one we're looking at today is called Screener. You don't have to install or download it and you can use it in a Mac or PC and it's free. To go to Screener, simply go to screener.com and you're at the page and the next thing you need to do is sign in which I'm going to do through my Google account up here. And that's it. I have signed in and I'm ready to record. Now, the most important thing with screencasting is to plan ahead and prepare everything in advance so things go smoothly. So let's say I wanted to record a particular program and do a review. I'd have it sized and ready to fit into the box and ready to go. To actually record, I simply click on this yellow bar here. And what that will do is check to see do you have something called Java. If you don't have it, it'll tell you and it will tell you how to install it as well. Once you've done that, you're going to see a box which looks like this, a little dotted line around this, and this is your recording area. Now I'm going to reshape this to go around most of the screen here. I drag the corners, and when I'm ready, I click the red button. And now I'm recording. And you'll notice that while I'm recording, I have a speech level here. You can see my sound. Now it's quite low, so perhaps when I'm re-recording this, I'd want to check my sound levels. But at the moment, my sound is adjusted for a different screencasting application, so I'm not too worried about that. You can see how long you've been recording for. And you'll also see a red line around the area you're recording, which indicates that you are recording. And as soon as you're finished, you simply click Done. and then you can review what you recorded. So I press play. Now I don't know if you could hear that, but in the background through my system speakers you could hear uh, what I said during the recording. Now if I like my recording, I can keep it a description. and I can just click publish this is quite a short recording so it's going to be processed quite quickly so as soon as that blue bar goes all the way to the end you're done and there you go your recording is finished and you're ready to share it there's different ways you can share it. Up here are your choices. You can go. You can uh, get an embed code if you have your own website. You can simply get the URL. And you, you can tweet it. And you have more actions down here. And that's as simple as it gets for screencasting. So if you are interested in screencasting and you want to give it a try, I strongly recommend you have a look at Screener. It's extraordinarily easy to use. And the only thing you really have to do is spend time planning what you want to do thinking about the progression of your material and then making your recording. Finally, if you're not happy with your recording at any time, you can simply delete it by clicking this button here, delete the screencast. It'll ask you, do you want to do this because it is permanent? Click OK. And that's it. You're gone. Okay, thank you for watching.